Howdy guys, I'm back with more Fallout 3. Today I'm headed over to the Oasis and it seems like my dear Sharon can't quite figure out how to come with me and I can't figure out how to get up here without jumping over a ledge so I'm gonna be going solo which um, I came up a little way and saw four blips over here so I'm not sure if I want to go by myself. I'm told this is an interesting area. Oh, it's robots down here. All right, sneaky Tesla cannon on the on the sentry bot there. There we go. Oh shoot! Oh my gosh! There's people with some some flamethrowers here. Okay, in a rope. Oh my gosh! I don't think I can handle this. Oh, nope, okay, I've got a Tesla cannon. Of course I can handle this. And some more robots. And it was just a bunch of uh, robots. Huh, well, I don't want to jump down there to... But I won't... Why are there just robots down here trying to kill me? And there is something else. What the heck is that? Is that a robot? It looks like a... I don't know. Uh, I'm not sure if I want to jump down there because I can't get back up to... Yeah, I'm not sure... Eh, maybe I'll check that out down there after I'm done in the oasis if I can get up there. This is a another area that I'm told is pretty interesting. It has to be approached from the northwest, so hopefully I'm going the right way here. I mean, there's a path going straight up. Ooh, some funny looking mushrooms right here. And more funny looking mushrooms. Oh, and people and a tree. Outsider, you have arrived. Please, come closer. I have something of the utmost urgency to speak to you about. <laughs> Do hurry. He doesn't like to be kept waiting. Tree Father Birch. Birch is a kind of tree that's adorable. Oh my gosh, is this like a, a circle of druids? I'm so glad you're here. <laughs> it's been a while since anyone's visited us. And he's been waiting for someone like yourself to arrive. If you wouldn't mind following me, I'll bring you right to him. Capital H. Just a minute, who are you and what is this place? I'm not following anyone until I know what's going on here. And uh, what the hell are you wearing? He's trying to blend in, I guess. Whoa, whoa, slow down, old man. What the hell are you babbling about? And lead on. Hmm. Okay, yeah, What? what's with the... The druid get up here. <laughs> what the hell are you wearing? I'm wearing the clothes of a tree minder. We shed our wasteland garments like the ones you're wearing long ago. A tree minder. All right. Um, so who are you and what is this place? Tree Father Birch, who is a tree minder. I'm sorry. In my excitement, I got ahead of myself. I'm Tree Father Birch. And I have the great fortune of being leader of his people, the Tree Minders. Oh boy. <laughs> Beyond that gate is our home, Oasis. Ooh, I might have found a retirement place. I think I like the looks of it if there's trees. So who's waiting for me inside? The Tree Minders? Yeah, okay, so who's waiting for me? Why, he is, of course. Oh, come on. If you'll just follow me to the pavilion, <laughs> all will be explained. You know what I'm asking you. All right, I'll follow you. Lead on, perhaps another time. I have more urgent matters, and no way, you're obviously out of your mind. Well, I'd be a little wary to trust someone with branches on them, but I've also seen people worshipping a bomb, so whatever. I'll follow you. You're not the craziest uh, crazy I've seen. <laughs> Excellent. Please, follow me. All will be explained soon. All right, here I go. Birch. We're very pleased Birch. to see you, outsider. Branch tinder maple. Is everyone going to be named after a type of tree? Oh my gosh, it's actually kind of pretty here. 
Wooden gate to the oasis. Gosh, so they're even harvesting trees. Woo! For uh, their wood. Lots of trees here. Oh, and it's radioactive. Something's radioactive. What is? Hold on. The mushrooms. The mushrooms are radioactive. Noted. Are all of them? Uh, br uh, branch tinder linden. I don't know if that's a type of, um, of tree. Alright, I, I clearly need to put the right equipment on here. Leaf Rejoice. The Great One wishes to see you. The Great One. Welcome, outsider. Welcome to Oasis. Alright. Am I still following you, or what? What's going on? You have no idea how overjoyed I am to see you. Normally, outsiders are forbidden inside Oasis, but he has made an exception. Ooh. Oh, animal friend. Amazing. This place seems so abundant with animal life. I don't know if I've seen any animals yet. Maybe it's because I'm out at night. Life giver. I can't explain it, but I can feel this place just teeming with life. I've never seen any place like this. This place is weird. Where do you plug stuff in? <laughs> oh boy, this game was a little ahead of its time, wasn't it? I think um, this goes double for nowadays, right? This place scares me. It's so different. And so what was all this about meeting someone? I do want to ask about what, what this was about meeting someone, but I like doing the special ones. I'm going to go do the life giver one. Uh, but because the animal friend, I, I haven't seen animal life yet, so... Um, I can't explain it, but I feel this place just teeming with life and radioactive mushrooms. That's his power you feel, outsider. With his outstretched limbs, he shelters us and keeps us safe. Okay, the way you're saying him with a capital H, I could swear you're referring to a god. Who is it you keep referring to as him? I wish you could just tell me who he is already. And can you cut the him crap already and just tell me who he is? And so what was all this about meeting someone? Okay, the way you're swaying, yeah, the, or yeah, who is it that you keep referring to as capital H him? He is the one who grows. Oh boy. He is the one who gives and he is the one who guides. <laughs> No one speaks his name out of reverence for his majesty. Thanks to him, the tree minders have a home. Okay, so he, 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 you, you ask who he is and you just get more capital letters. Alright, I may be willing to help, but I need straight answers about who he is. Why do you call yourselves tree minders? Tree minders, huh? Strange name. I think you're Looney Tunes. Alright, you know I'm going to do the speech one. I could help, but you gotta tell me who he is. I would have preferred that he made the introduction, but I understand your hesitation. The Great One is a god tree. A living, breathing, speaking god tree. Speaking. The tree minders are blessed to have this being watch over us. A tree. Okay, I've got my eyebrow pretty far off away from where it's supposed to be. Am I going to talk to, like, a, a sentient tree, or is it going to be a guy in a tree costume? Because it could be either at any point. And, man, is Sharon just, like, really creeping anyone else out, just staring so still and lifelessly in this corner? He's just been kind of awkwardly staring the whole time. You can go, like, eat some leaves or something. Okay, so, yeah, what was all this about meeting someone? Yes, my apologies. I don't speak to outsiders very often, and I tend to get lost in conversation. As you approached Oasis, he said you were coming, and I was sent out to meet you personally with a request. He wishes to meet with you. You'd be the first outsider to do so in a very long time. All right. I would be honored to meet this person, and where can I find him? All right, let's get going. All right, so where is this person, which I don't think it's a person. Yes, person. Yeah. To meet him, you must undergo the ceremony of purification. Oh boy. Once that's complete, you'll be able to speak to him. Whenever you're ready, we may begin. 
I don't have to get naked, do I? Just a minute, what does this ceremony involve? Hang on, you never said a thing about a ceremony, and can we skip this nonsense? Yeah, yeah, well, hold on. What does it involve? It's simple, really. You drink the sap from the basin here in the pavilion. Oh, okay. The sap will purify your mind and body of anything harmful that could possibly hurt him. Uh-huh. I assure you, nothing harmful will happen to you. Uh-huh. I mean, I feel like I've been told this before. Well, I guess that's what Radaway is for. All right, let's begin. Can we wait and forget it? This is insane. Let's do it. Very good. Take your place in front of the basin, and let's begin. All right. Right here. Activate basin of purification. Do I do it now? Or do I... Do I sit? Do I sit? I have to undertake the ceremony? Okay, I think I need to stop being a doofus and... Whoa! There we go. You can't use it. Okay, do I... I guess I wait. As soon as the rest of the tree minders are in place, we'll begin. Oh, so everyone's derping out because Sharon's goofy behind won't move. Alright, let's push you. There we go. Can I go now? Whoa! Sapling you? Oh my gosh, bloom seer poplar. Please drink the sap from the basin. I don't know. I might wake up naked in a ditch. Should I talk? I think I'm gonna talk to people. No more words. The ceremony begins. Oh, okay. All right. The basin of purification is filled with some sort of thick, vicious sap. Okay. Well, nothing harmful, they say. We will now recite the blessing to ward off any harm the outsider may be carrying before he proceeds to the grove. I bid you depart, agents of destruction, through the power of his divine will. Leave our homes and bodies immediately. Live no longer in them, but pass over into places where you can harm no one. Dear in the name of his frondescence, I call his wrath upon you, so that wherever you may go, you bear it with you. What? And diminishing from day to day, you may disappear, except where you serve the health and good purposes of mankind. May no trace of you be found. What? All this, may he be so good as to grant us, who is to come to judge the living and the dead, and the world by his verdure. Amen. Soon, you will pass peacefully into sleep, outsider. And when what? you awake, you will witness his glory firsthand. What? I'm dying? Oh my gosh, I knew I was... No harm, they say. Sharon, no. Well. Great. I died. This is the afterlife. Well. Well, a little radioactive. Well, I might as well drink the radioactive water. I could use a little bit of HP. Why not? <laughs> hmm. Alright, so maybe it was the water that was radioactive. Oh! Talking to- oh, that's a face! Okay. Alright, I don't like this place. <laughs> the thing looks freaky. Are you serious? It's got an eye and a mouth and it's a tree. Oh man. So... Is this what happens when a tree gets radioactive? Did oh gosh, I don't want to talk to this. This is creepy. All right, here I go. Glad to see you're <laughs> finally awake. I can't believe they made you do that stupid ceremony. <laughs> They listen when I talk, but they don't hear. You know what I mean? Oh my gosh. Are you serious? I thought it, it... Okay, the way they were talking about him with a capital H, I was expecting bright lights, divine, you know, angel singing type of thing, you know, maybe an angelic voice that says thou a lot. And then you see it and it's really creepy and I expect it to be like kind of demonic, like outsider. But 
He just sounds like a good old boy. <laughs> Maybe a little bit on the dumb side. So, am I dreaming or is this real? I must be dreaming. I've never met a talking tree before. And, okay, what's the trick? I know there's a guy with a microphone somewhere. Yeah, I'm thinking I'm in a dream. <sighs> I wish I was too. Then me and Herbert could be the best of friends. And live side by side. <laughs> <laughs> He's the tree, you see? We're old pals. The best of buddies. And we know each other. Inside and out. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> uh... Well, his name's really Bob. I think it's funny to call him Herbert. But I don't think he thinks it's that funny. <laughs> what the heck? Okay, well, I see why no one listens. You totally lost me. I'm just like, okay, I'm not... I'm not prepared to talk to this guy. Okay, so you're trapped in there inside this Herbert Bob thing, or... I don't know, are they, is it so much that he's trapped or are they fused? Um, I'm beginning to suspect you weren't always this way. What in the hell are you talking about? And so the tree miner said you, seated, uh, you needed my help. Alright, so this seems like a what in the hell are you talking about kind of situation. Not very bright. Are you? Uh-huh. Bob, that's the tree. Used to ride around on top of my head. Sunk his roots right in there. You know? Well, eventually he got bigger than me. And then I pretty much ended up inside. <laughs> oh... Okay, how did a tree end up growing out of your head? Yeah, that I, I that didn't clarify much. How on earth did that happen? I still don't understand what the hell you're talking about. And the tree reminders. Yep, I'm. This is normally I like to be a little bit more nice to people, but this is a what the hell is going on what are you talking about i still don't understand what you're on about yes perhaps it doesn't even matter anyway no forget i mentioned no, it no i want to know <laughs> i just don't understand oh my gosh well hopefully your troubles will be over i'm here to help um, so the tree minder said you needed my help. Look, let's cut the BS and get to the matter at hand. Well, um, I am here to help, I, I think. You have no idea how glad I am to hear that. Or, we're glad to hear that. Me and Bob. Okay. I had you brought in here to ask a very simple favor. Would you please... Kill me. Gladly, yes. I will put you out of your misery right now. You want me to murder you, kill you? You can't be serious? Sure, what do you want? It, uh, the, the bullet head or gut? I wish it was that simple. <laughs> no. No. There's only one way you're going to be able to do this for me. Oh, gosh. Yeah, this is... This is clearly an abomination that needs to be put out of its misery. Guys, if I ever become a tree thing, yeah, please, like, incinerate me. I don't care. Um, how would I be able to kill you? You're a tree. Well, fire comes to mind. Um, uh, I don't know. How do trees usually die? Disease? Uh, bulldozer? If I kill you, every tree minder will come after me. Why don't you just uh, um, do it to yourself? Yeah, how come you can't just, you know, do yourself in? Now, how exactly am I oh. supposed to do that? I can barely move anymore. Oh. 
Thanks to Bob, I'm obviously not going to be doing anything for a very long time. Okay. Well, I'm not a charity. If you want to die, cough up some caps. Oh my gosh, that's terrible. I think I've got to do a jerk playthrough. Some of these are so funny, though. Alright, if I kill you, yeah, the tree minders are going to mind my butt. <laughs> oh, no, no, don't worry about them. When you decide to go down there, I'll have a little chat with Birch <laughs> and the rest of the gang. They usually don't understand a word I say, but I'll make them come around. <laughs> I kind of like this guy, though. He's kind of growing on me the way he talks. Now, now, now. Uh, I, he, he's just like a, like a good old boy. I like him. All right, how would I be able to kill you? You're a tree. How to put this? I've been feeling rather spread out lately. Uh, I think Bob's kind of shoved my insides around some. Okay. <laughs> it's hard to tell where everything is, but it's always that way with one's insides. Isn't it? Uh... Anyway, I believe Bob's carried some of my organs into his root system. I want you to go underground and destroy my heart. Okay. I'll do it. Look, I really don't want to kill you. Can I have some time to think about it? Um... The guy's clearly in agony. Like, I feel like if I were a... Tr if I were fused with a tree, I would not want to be in existence. I mean, look, what do trees do? They just stand there for years doing nothing. And then maybe some teenagers come and, like, carve their name into your bark. Like, I don't want to be a tree. I'd rather be, like, one of those little bugs that lives for a day or something. It's like... Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll do it. I'm gonna piss off a lot of people, but, uh, sure, buddy. If, if there's, I'm thinking there's no real way to separate you at this point, so let's put you out of your misery. You will? Oh, oh you, you made us so happy. Oh, oh, isn't that right, Bob? Just, just give me a little time to say goodbye to good old Bob, and then I'll be ready. Okay, well, goodbye for now then, Herbert, or was it Bob? Well, goodbye, tree? Uh, fine, what the hell do I call you anyway, Herbert or Bob? Alright, um, alright, well, goodbye for now then, Herbert, Bob. <laughs> no, no. Herbert is the tree. Bob is his real name, but I call him Herbert because I think it's pretty funny. <laughs> uh -huh. But I'm still in here, too. What's left of me? The name's Harold. Harold. Okay, you're Harold. The tree is... <laughs> I'll enter the caves below and destroy Harold's heart. Now, is destroying him going to destroy all the other trees, though? That's something I think I need to find out, and... Okay, um, can I talk to the other tree minders? Would they know? Let's see, that's gonna be... The gate's gonna bring me at, back out to... Oasis, I guess. Um, I have to go talk to them anyway. I'm, I'm wondering if everything is... Well, some, even though it's lush and pretty, something about it's also unnatural because I'm splashing in the water and getting, you know, a dose of radiation. There's these weird green mushrooms. Something's... Some, 
something else is weird about this place besides the tree, I think. Maybe? I don't know. I'd like to talk to some more of the tree minders and not drink the sap again. I guess I can go visit him again if I just go into the grove? Where's the other tree minders though? Oh, what's this? Um, oh, a bed. Maybe that's what I need to do. I'll sleep until the um, the morning and more people will be around. Maybe it's because it's the middle of the night. Give it a little rest and see if they don't show up. Alright. I think I hear birds singing. <laughs> Alright, yeah, here we go. Here's a few people. Oh no, I guess this is everyone. There's nowhere like this left in the world anymore, eh, outsider? Seems to be the case. So you're the outsider, huh? You seem nice to me. Alright, any info you could give me on the caves below would be helpful. Tell me about your god, how'd you end up here? And what did you have to do to become a tree minder? Alright, tell me about your god. Oh, you mean Harold? He's really nice. Sometimes when I get really lonely, I go into the grove and talk to him. Sometimes I even curl up all cozy-like and sleep next to his root after I have a bad dream. Aww. I tell him what I'm scared of, and he tells me what he's scared of. It makes me feel better knowing I'm not the only one. Oh, people like him. All right, tell me too, then I won't be scared either. Hey, maybe if you tell me what Harold is scared of, then I won't be scared. What's Harold scared of? I can't believe a tree would be scared. And yeah, well, guess what? He's really a monster. Oh, I'm gonna have to do a jerk playthrough. It'd just be too funny. Okay, I wanna do the child at heart one. Hey, maybe if you tell me what Harold is scared of, I won't be as scared either. Aw, I never knew an outsider could be scared of anything. Harold told me that he's scared of fire. If fire ever got on him, it would burn him and Bob until they were all gone. That's why we keep the fires far away from him. Huh, well then, why can't I just fire him? Why do I have to go all the way down into these caves if fire seems to, you know, do the same thing? All right, well, um, <laughs> can you tell me about your cot again? I'd forgotten what you said. Um, any info you could give me on the caves would be helpful. My parents told me never to go past the old gate. There are monsters in there! Oh, monsters. Okay, just because I think it's funny. I'd forgotten what you said. That's okay. I like talking about Harold. He's really nice. He's my best friend. Sometimes I even curl up all cozy like- Okay, that's the same. I tell him what I'm scared of. That's the same. Oh, okay. All right, I guess it's just the same thing. So how'd you end up here? I was born here, silly. Oh, <laughs> and what did you have to do to become a tree minder? Just get born, I guess. <laughs> You're funny. Oh, okay. <laughs> May the sap of his wisdom sustain you. I like this kid. She's all right. Hmm. So, ooh, okay, nothing in there. Let me talk with these folks. Revel, yeah. outsider. You are under his protection. All right. It's very nice to meet you, outsider. I'm Branch Tender Linden. All right, tell me about your god. Well, I'm not so sure the Great One is a god. I mean, I don't believe in that sort of thing. However, I am beginning to realize he's special. Something greater than any of the creatures in the wasteland. Hmm, he's spe well, he's special, all right. He's fused with a tree. So any info on the caves? Oasis is located near what used to be an old mining town before the bombs fell. When the attack started about 200 years ago, many people took shelter in the natural caves that dotted the area. The old gate that stands at the mouth of Oasis Cave is the last piece of architecture from those days. Hmm, okay, so how'd you end up here? I was found dying in the wastes not far from here by a trader caravan. They knew about this place and brought me to Bloomseer Poplar. She nursed me back to health, and I've stayed ever since. Oh, well, she sounds nice. Dying, how awful. What happened to you? Why'd you stay? And I'm not sure I could live with these loonies. All right, what happened to you? I was a Brotherhood of Steel outcast. Ooh. We had a deep patrol out here looking for some tech, and they got jumped by some Deathclaws. They shredded everyone else and left me bleeding to death. 
If it wasn't for Oasis and Bloomseer Poplar, I'd be dead right now. Honestly, I've never seen anything like this place. It's beautiful. It's a shame only a few people will ever get to see it. Hmm. It is pretty. I can't believe this guy. Well, I think I can believe he's an outcast. He's kind of got that voice. All right. Uh, what? Remind me how you got here? There isn't much more to the story. <laughs> I was dying and these people saved my life. So here I'll remain. That's funny that I can re-ask them stuff. All right. What did you have to do to become a tree minder? I sort of fell into it, I guess. I woke up here and I just stayed. After a while, I became one of them. Oh, all right. Well, farewell, outsider. Let me talk to this poplar now. Allow me to introduce myself. I'm Bloomseer Poplar, soothsayer and healer of Oasis. Ooh. It brings me great honor to welcome you. Well, she's really nice. Ooh, what's causing this place to grow? Here we go, some answers. In what we call the harvest month, the Great One creates seeds among his branches within seed pods. At the end of this time, the pods open and the seeds are carried quite easily upon the wind. It's quite beautiful. Wherever the seeds take purchase, they grow into trees, plants, grass, or all manner of wonderful things. Oh, that, that's kind of what I figured. So the place grows because of uh, Harold, Herbert, Bob, whatever his name is right now. Um, well, gosh, now that complicates things. I want to put the guy out of his misery, but seeing as this is the only place place on the horizon with trees it's like hmm you know you're you're suffering you know it's it's more than just you now man oh this really complicates things well tell me about him he's not my god he's everyone's god you me everyone this place isn't meant just for the tree minders it's for all mankind. Oh, well, I'm kind of starting to agree. What if there are others that don't share your opinion? You speak heresy. Tree Father Perch should hear about this. Oh my gosh. Yeah, well, what if there's others that uh, disagree? You'd think they'd realize that this place won't remain a secret forever. The caravans know about it, and you happened upon it. Mm. How long before someone comes to take this place by force? No, I say allow Oasis to grow, and that issue becomes moot. Oh, she makes a good point. If this whole place could flourish, you know, the, you know, through, you know, a, some twisted creature, balance could be restored. All right, well, uh, any info on the caves? Be wary of the water in the caves. I fear they still carry the sting of radiation from the bombs. Seems to be the case. All right, how'd you end up here? My father was a healer like myself. He had the most curious books I would read about trees and plants and their medicinal properties. Many years later, I heard a rumor about a place such as this. I spent a decade in search of it. I've been in this wonderful place for over 15 years now. Wow. 15 years this place has grown. 15 years this guy's been mixed with a tree. All right, so what'd you have to do to be a tree minder? I was the third one to arrive here in Oasis. Tree Father Birch was a bit wary at first, but Leaf Mother Laurel convinced him to let me stay. If she hadn't been around, I doubt Birch would have ever let me stay here. Wow, really? After a while, they taught me their ways, and together we developed the ceremony of purification that you undertook. Ah, uh, boy. Yeah, the ceremony... May the Great <laughs> One bless you. The cult around these people is a bit on the ridiculous side, but I guess it's it's hard not to be a little this fanatical place is wonderful, when... Isn't it? You live in a place like this, like nothing else in the in the Fallout world exists like this, right? Well, well, gosh, now I don't want to destroy his heart. Can I? Can I? 
no takesy maxis on this, huh? Oh boy, I just I found out you're keeping the place growing, bud. Look, Herbert. She's back. I told you. <laughs> oh boy. So you're mostly a tree, right? Can't I just burn you down? I have some quick questions about those caves. You don't actually seem that sad. Why do you want to die? How is it you're causing all these things to grow around you? Okay, so yeah, how is it you're causing all these things to grow around you? It's kinda... embarrassing, really. Once a year, Bob decides he's gonna go ahead and, and start growing these weird pods filled with tiny seeds. Well, all it takes is a good wind and the seeds just fly everywhere. I call them Herbert Seeds. <laughs> he hates that. This is so goofy. Oh my gosh. Okay, so he's basically spreading his seed all over this place. <laughs> So you don't actually seem that sad. Why do you want to die? I've been literally rooted to this spot. Thanks to Bob for maybe 20 or 30 years. I can't even remember anymore. Can you imagine being stuck in one place for that long? Not being able to eat, or to read, or to sleep, or anything. Oh, God. In the meantime, I have these tree minders bothering me every day about things I don't even care about. And I can't stand it anymore. Oh, my gosh. He... He sounds so frustrated, and I feel so bad for him because I think if I were rooted in one place with, if I couldn't read or, you know, play a game or watch or something or write something or go for a walk or do something, oh gosh, I think I would go crazy. Hey, life is a gift, even if it lasts a long time, be glad you have it. I understand what you mean. If people thought I was a god, I'd exploit it for all it's worth. <laughs> well, you know, that is true. People think he's a god. I'd start... Yeah, why, you can start making demands, like have people in here and entertaining you. Yeah, exploit it. Hey, 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 I thought that too. At first, oh. I had them sing me songs. I made them do <laughs> stupid dances and things like that. Bob even told me to make Maple stand on his head for a whole day. <laughs> a oh whole <my> day! <laughs> a whole dang day! <laughs> After a while, though, it just gets boring. Then it becomes a nuisance, and now it's completely driving me nuts! When I saw you coming towards Oasis, I thought I felt that you'd understand me. I guess I was wrong. Oh, Man, I love this guy's voice actor. He gets so into it. Alright, seeing me approach Oasis is quite a feat for a living tree. Yeah, that is. See me coming, not possible. They, you say you saw me coming to Oasis and you call the tree minders crazy. Yeah, seeing me approach is quite a feat for a living tree. Maybe I'm just losing my mind from all this boredom, but I swear if I try, I can see all around me. Like my eyes are in every leaf on every tree. Oh. I think it's making Bob kind of jealous. Because he was the first tree in my life. And uh, all that. Okay, so you're seeing other trees. No, so it's like uh, he's not embracing his... 
true tree-like nature and he can see in all the life around him. He's connected with all life. He just needs to embrace it. <laughs> okay, so yeah, why can't I just, you know, take the old burn master on you? Oh, no, 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 no. Fire would be too painful for me and poor old Bob. Ye keep that stuff away from us. The heart would be just fine, and I won't feel a thing. Hmm. All right, now see, the evil me wants to take a... Oh... Oh, evil me wants to do it just to see, but I couldn't live with myself if I did it. Oh, yeah, okay. I'm deciding it right now. When I play New Vegas, I'm going to be an evil... I'm not going to be completely evil, maybe, but I'm going to be a jerk because I don't feel like... I feel like that'd be too inconsistent with how I've played it, played my game. Now, I can't, uh go burning down poor Harold. I'm too much of a goody two-shoes, but it's kind of tempting? But no, I don't. No, that's just pure evil, but that's why it's tempting a little bit. Okay, so question about the cave. Yeah, I'll leave it to good old Bob to get me stuck above some caves. Now, my dang feet are cold. Oh. How do I get in? Is there anything to look for? Uh, how do I get in? I think the best way for you to get down there would be to get the key from the one those loonies call Cypress. Cypress. There's supposed to be some old gate or something back in the other grove. Hmm. Is there anything there to look out for? Sometimes I feel stuff tickling me, but I think that's just Bob getting back at me for all the times <laughs> I called him Herbert. <laughs> Maybe that's like bugs crawling on him or something. All right. Okay. Um, I don't think I have the... Don't worry, Herbert. She'll be back. <laughs> I love that one. <laughs> Gets me every time. <laughs> oh, my gosh. This guy's so fun to talk to. Oh, but I feel bad for him. He's, he's stuck there. He's got to be having the worst time. I mean, you can see how his arm became roots and well I don't know maybe one day the tree will take over completely and he won't have to suffer anymore maybe this suffering is temporary I don't know I haven't talked to everyone in the oasis yet I think and I don't think I want to kill Harold but I don't know if there's... Hello, outsider. It's very nice to see you. I don't know if there's really any other way to resolve this quest um, otherwise. And I'm telling you, you've got it all wrong. Why else would he have called for an outsider's assistance? The outsider is here to deliver us from our enemies. To keep this place safely locked away from the wasteland. Not to exploit us. Oh. How can we preach about peace when all you want to do is keep his gift all to ourselves? That's not what he would want. If we allow the spread of this miracle to continue, we're putting him in jeopardy. I can't allow that. I won't allow it. Once again, my husband, we are at an impasse. I suggest we speak to the outsider. Agreed. Why else would the outsider have been allowed into the grove? Perhaps it's a test. Yes, that must be it. I know why you're here, and despite what my wife thinks, I know you'll do what's best for Oasis. After all, he chose you, and he would never want to put us in harm's way. I'm afraid Harold isn't a god. He's just a human that had some bad luck. He's not a god, Birch. His name's Harold. 
Can we dispense with all this religious crap? His name is Harold. All right, well, let's break it to him gently. This guy really believes in all this. I mean, he's wearing the guy's arm hair for all we know. All right, he's not a god. He's a human that uh, carried a tree on his head. Oh, he's testing you now, just like he tested us. Oh, my gosh. He wants to see if your faith is strong by spinning these incredible stories. Who else but a god could produce all of this? Don't worry. You'll soon see things as I do. All right. Did you know that your god wants me to kill him? Are you aware that Harold wants to die? Did you know that that crazy tree thing wants me to kill it? Harold makes unusual requests. All right. So did you know your god wants to die, that he's miserable? Yes, I've been pondering that riddle myself for some time now, and I think I know what he's trying to tell us. Oh my gosh. The Great One's influence is growing, and soon it will break free of the confines of this secluded veil. We can't allow Oasis to call attention to itself like that. It would be the end of him. Wow. Okay. You got that from that. <sighs> okay, so what can I do to help? Killing him should stop his influence from spreading. Um, good, free firewood for all. This guy, I, I want to talk with the lady. She She's a bit, um, bit more loony, but also makes a bit more sense. Um, what can I do to help, I guess? If the same sap that you drank to purify yourself could be applied to his heart, it should stop the spread. What? I can promise you no harm would come to him. That's all I ask of you, outsider. Nothing more, nothing less. No, I'm not doing that. No, I'm not doing that. Uh-uh. That would make Harold suffer even more. If I love Birch, but sometimes I think he doesn't see the big picture. Agree. The spreading of his influence is not a curse. It's a great miracle. A benefit meant for the entire wasteland. Agree with that. I mean, if a guy is going to suffer being a human-tree hybrid, I'd rather he suffer for a reason and help restore life. Doesn't anybody care what your god thinks? Why doesn't... why don't any of you listen to Harold? Yeah, why... Do, doesn't anyone care about what the god thinks? Of course we do. He yearns to share his miracles with the whole world. To give the gift of life back to the dead wasteland. It's upsetting him to no end, but Birch can't see the pain it's causing. But now that you're here, I have a feeling the winds are about to change. Hmm. How can I help? Uh oh, I see where this is going, and let me know what you want. How can I help? I heard what my husband wanted you to do. What I propose is an alternative. The same person that created the sap also created this liniment. If you can reach his heart, it will assist him in making his influence increase. Instead of centuries, the wasteland will become green in mere decades. Hmm. Just imagine how glorious that would be. Okay, so... Alright, I'm seeing what I have to do. I've basically got to listen to one of three people. I've got to listen to the guy that's actually suffering. Or make Branch my tender own... cypress at your service. Welcome to our little home. Make my own choice. So, what's your opinion all this? I wish they wouldn't argue so much. It makes everyone uncomfortable. All right. Well, may I have the key to the caves? Sure. Here you go. Good luck to you. All right. How'd you end up here? I was an outsider like yourself. Wandering the world aimlessly, wasting my life trying to seek my fortune. When my eyes beheld the splendor of Oasis, I knew I'd found a holy place. Tree Father Birch allowed me to stay, and I've been here ever since. Mm. All right, so what'd you have to do? Actually, you already did some of it. I had to do the ceremony and meet with the Great One. Then Tree Father Birch taught me everything I needed to know about Oasis, and how it has to remain a secret. Hmm. That's why I'm so worried. I just think letting this place spread into the wasteland would be an unwise decision. Hmm. I think you're right. Who knows what would happen? 
What if all the tree menders don't agree with you? I don't think a leaf mother laurel is going to like hearing you say that. Yeah, what if they don't agree with you? That would worry me. I was out there once, like you. I wandered the wasteland for many years. All I saw was poverty, famine, sickness, hate, and death everywhere I turned. But this place, this place isn't anything like that. We can't allow that kind of evil inside Oasis. We just can't. All right. I have to go. May your spirit rest in his branches. Okay, so... <sighs> Everyone's got a different opinion on what to do with the heart, it seems. And I'm not really sure either. Everyone seems to be a bit of a fanatic in some way or another, to be perfectly honest. Um, I mean... I feel bad for Harold. I don't want the poor guy to suffer. Be careful. And, you know, I don't really know if... Oh. I don't really know... I haven't fought my alerts in a long time. I don't really know you if... Want some of this? You know, having him spread his influence is necessarily good. I mean, I've spent such a long time out in the, um... That's a thing for you to think. I've spent a long time out in the wasteland, and I know Over that there's here. a lot of, Where? you know, evil and a lot of really just crummy people out in the wasteland, so it's like, you know, if, oh. oh my gosh, this guy's like just looking toward me or something, what the, what the heck is he doing? That was crazy looking. Oh, I need to get out of the water here. So, I mean, yeah, people will probably take advantage of, you know, the tree influence if it spreads or you know they could hurt him or do something but I don't know I still have hope that everyone doesn't suck all right I've already got my light on and all right maybe I should do something about um my alert king here instead of just splashing around. oh my gosh what am I doing with my career help I'm stuck oh my gosh I'm actually like stuck that? all right let me all right, I'm gonna need to use some rat away, I think. I have, um, um, let's see, do that, do that. All right, I'm, it looks like it's right here, but clearly that's not the case. I can't just run over there. Well, maybe I do, I need to try again. There is, is there nothing here? No, I can't. Um, is it under? Ah, under. Alright, that's, that's what it is. I don't like going under, I always feel like I'm gonna drown. Uh, the water's not as radioactive here as I think it is in some other areas. Oh my gosh, there's so many mire lips in here. I think I need to use one of my for real weapons instead of this goofy thing. I've just been kind of having fun. Alright, no more my alert games. There we go. That gets the job done. Alright, further in. Skeletons everywhere. Did some people try to do stuff to the heart before? The sunken chambers. Whatever it was, I guess it's gone now. I guess it's gone now. Why is there a lawnmower in here? Hey. Why, of all things, is there a lawnmower? Alright, uh, looks like. Yeah, let me deal with this thing. These things, I think these things are freaky. Alright, this looks like something over here. Like someone's living here. Someone is. Oh, they're not living anymore. They haven't been for a while. A pre-war book, some darts, hmm, the stealth boy, what was this guy doing down here barbecuing, clearly, jeez, what's this guy's story, was he, ah, he was hiding down here, that's what it was, the pre-war, uh, where he was someone from before the bombs, people hid down here, to uh, to get away from the ball uh, after the bombs fell. Over here. Oh god, there's so many mire alerts. Well, I'd rather take mire alerts than pretty much anything else. That was 
scared the heck out of me. What was I saying about taking my orbs over anything else? Ugh. Alright, onward. Well, I'm at the point where I run into death claws and stuff all the time, so... My and especially like, yeah, glowing ones and stuff. I'll take one of these ugly things over a glowing one or a death claw, that's for sure. Yeah. Alright, looks like this is our heart. Alright, so I guess I have to make a choice, huh? Let me go ahead and put this up and let me, let me save in case I screw something up here. So, I don't want Harold to suffer, but if we can restore life, all right, destroy Harold's heart, apply birch sap to stop Harold's growth, apply Laurel's liniment to accelerate Harold's growth, do nothing. All right, so I don't want to stop his growth. That basically locks him into a life of agony. Destroying it, you know, I, I'm actually listening to him. And, you know, he's, it sounds like he's done everything he can to try to make his life as a tree god comfortable and he. He's not happy, but I'm, um, you know, when you listen to parts of his speech, like, um, when he talks about when he tries really hard, he can look through the eyes of all the trees. I kind of feel like if his growth is accelerated, maybe he can embrace that side of himself a little bit more, and his consciousness will flow through the trees, and you know, maybe he'll have some happiness and not being in one place, but being in everywhere as life grows all without, um, all without him. And if he grows, you know, if it, his growth is accelerated, he's going to be everywhere. I think he'll suffer a little bit now, but long term, I think he'll be happiest if I apply the liniment. So let's accelerate the growth. All right speak with Leaf Mother Laurel. I hope I made the right choice there. I strengthened the heart. I don't know if I feel good about that. I know that Harold suffers and maybe it's not right to make him suffer, but I don't know. I feel like this is better for everybody. It's better for the world so that life... I mean, we've got pure water now and now we've got plant life. I mean, we can make the world a good place to live now. Me. Oh, where? where the heck did I come out at? I thought, yeah, I'm way away from... Oh, I'm way away from where I was and there's a lot more stuff to fight down here. There, I got him. Got him! Alright. Oh, I didn't... Oh, that's... Oh, Jaren! Ah, there we go. A Mirelet Hunter. Ooh, this guy's freaky looking. Oh my gosh. There we go. Got him. Teach you to mess with me. Alright, there's a hole. <laughs> Enjoy it. Um, how do I... Hey, hey, you're in my way. I guess this is the only way out here. Ah, here we go. Oh, I don't like diving in underwater caves. Oh, it makes me nervous. I'm still here. Alright, I'm... Uh-oh. Alright, well, I'm about to see the fruit of my choice here. Something here is different. I, I can feel it. You've done a great deed this day, my friend. The gifts the Great One has bestowed upon us will now take mere decades to breach the confines of Oasis instead of centuries. Oh, gosh. I was glad to do it. Oasis needs to be shared. Sure, I guess. I could have used a pile of caps instead, but what else? Uh, I think this place needs to be shared with the world. I do. You know, it's nice to see life flourishing. In your short visit here, I can see you've learned much. That's a rare gift in these turbulent times. I believe there are a few tree minders who wish to speak to you before you depart. I think you'll find their appreciation quite rewarding. Really? Okay. Good luck in all your journeys, my friend. I hope your time here has opened your heart as well as it opened your eyes. 
All right. Well, that was an interesting place. I like it. Oh, you hate me now, don't you? So, it looks like you decided to do things their way, huh? How come? Oh, you've become an important part of their life without you. They're lost. I am not the killing type. You're obviously crazier than they are. Why would I listen to you? Ah, uh, jeez, I'm clearly not the killing type. No, I suppose you aren't. <sighs> My mistake for making you do something you didn't want to do in the first place, <laughs> I guess. Still, maybe it's all for the best. I mean, I've been talking with Birch and they really seem to need me. Aww. What do you say, Herbert? <laughs> Should I give him another chance? Yes. Fine, fine, I mean Bob. <laughs> I still think it's funny when I call him Herbert. <laughs> okay, okay. So, yeah, what's with all the names? I don't get it. Maybe he was just a depressed tree. Maybe he never wanted to die. Maybe he just needed some movies and his favorite food. So tell me, what's the deal with the names, please? Okay. Okay, let me talk real careful for the <laughs> slow folks. That's me. I was once a man a long time ago named Harold. Something in me changed, and a weird little tree started growing right out of my head. Okay. <laughs> it kept getting bigger until I ended up stuck inside. When people would ask about it, I decided to name it Bob. <laughs> you know... Like a friend or something. <laughs> Sometimes I call him Herbert instead of Bob because I get bored and I think it's funny. So, long story short, call me Harold. I think the world is definitely a better place with Harold, even if he's miserable. His brand of humor is a rare gem. I, I can't argue with that. I mean, he called the tree growing out of his head Bob and then got bored and called it Herbert. I'm not going to fault the guy for that. He's got a great story. It's like, you know what? I respect that. Thank you for telling me. So, those tree minders. Uh, no, don't get me started on them. I'm liable to talk about them all day. It even drives poor old Bob crazy. Oh, so had you ever asked one of them to kill you before? How do the tree minders normally handle other outsiders? Which tree minder do you give along with? Yeah, which one do you like the most? Actually, the kid is the nicest one of all. Use her name. She sneaks in here sometimes and just lets me talk about stuff I want to talk about. <sighs> Bob really likes her, too, because she makes me happy. <laughs> I, I really like this. This this had a really good... I, I'm really glad I kept him around. He has a lot to talk about, and everyone really depends on him, and he really does seem to like everyone. So, have... yeah, have you asked one of them to kill you? Uh, they wouldn't listen to me at all! I told them something simple, then it got done. Otherwise... Birch spent a week looking for a hidden meaning. <laughs> Plus, he used to just pop in whenever he wanted and started chanting this nonsense. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes I used to just sit there silently, 
just to make him mad. <laughs> <laughs> That was fun for a while. Oh my gosh. Hopefully this will all change now that things are different. Thanks to you. Oh, you're really an okay guy, Harold. You really are. Alright, so how do they normally deal with other outsiders? Oh. <laughs> You wouldn't believe how they handle them. They make them drink this gunk that Poplar makes. <laughs> Sometimes they just go nuts and start running around. And sometimes when they wake up and see me, <laughs> they run for the hills. <laughs> I'll tell you, outsiders are almost as entertaining as the tree minders. Hmm. You know, I think if you really listen to him, I think he really does enjoy being around. I think you can't take him too seriously. I mean, that's what he gripes about, that no one will listen to him, but... You listen to every- if you listen to everything, I really do feel like he enjoys being alive. Just, you know, maybe he, there's things about it he doesn't like. He's, <laughs> he's definitely okay. got problems, but, you know, I I think, I think you're alright. Come right. back and visit me sometime. Aw, see? Oh, and I, I leveled up. I don't even know what I want, honestly. Um... More repair. I've been having a ton of fun with energy weapons. Um, I might as well get some more points in these. Um, seven more points. Eh, I think I'll, yeah, finish that out maybe. Yeah, that looks good. Let's go. And anything new. A warmonger. Ooh, I think these are new. With the nerves of steel perk, you regenerate action points much more quickly. Ooh, warmonger, you figured out how to, uh, you figured out on your own how to build all the custom weapons. With the warmonger perk, all custom weapon types become ooh available without the schematics. Cool. Um, I'm really not sure. Last level, I think I'm going to get Devil's Highway. <laughs> Um, I don't know anymore, honestly. I really, really have no clue what I would, I even want anymore. I'm, like, just so happy with what I have. Like, I should have got the comprehension one, like, forever ago. Um, hmm. Let's see. Um, speech and barter by five points. Um... Nuka Cola caps. Uh, I really don't know. Um, Mr. Sandman. Hmm. That might be kind of fun. I don't know. I don't want to be. That's kind of, kind of a bit more on the evil side, isn't it? The sniper chemist. I really don't know what I want. I'm completely. Eh, better criticals? Yeah, sure, I don't get very many, but I don't really know what else I want. Um, infiltrator, yeah. I don't really know what else I want, so... Or no weakness? No, I don't think I need that. Um, nerves of steel. You know, nerves of steel is pretty cool. I'll grab that. Alright, so I need to talk with the other tree minders, and I think I'm done with the oasis. I really like this place. This Hello is again, outside. Definitely easy to miss, too. It's definitely out of the way, and it's a real treat. I would have easily Welcome never outsider. done this place. What is it, outsider? Alright, uh, what will he do now? Although his influence will spread through the wasteland one day, that day is still a long way off. For now, we'll remain ever vigilant and watch the wasteland for anything that could threaten this sanctuary. All right. 
Goodbye, outsider, and good luck. Well, at least he's not too angry with me over my choice. How about you? What do you want? All right, what about you? I'll do what I do best. I'll make sure Oasis never falls, even if it means my own death. Wow. May your spirit rest in his branches. Well, everyone seems pretty happy with everything. Everyone gets to keep Harold. Harold, I don't think he was really that sad. I mean, I think there's things about life he enjoys, and I think he's just having a hard time adapting. I don't know. I, I feel we kind welcome of you always like I shouldn't uh, be making assumptions, arms. but I don't it's know. Good to see you. Hey, my second best friend in the whole wide Aww, world. Oh, second best. I hear you may have a gift for me. Yeah, I think you're pretty swell for someone from out there. And and you were really nice to me, too. Aww. I was going to give this to my bestest friend, Harold, but he doesn't have pockets, the silly head. Oh, that's silly This head. is a charm that my parents gave me for my fifth birthday. It's really neat. Take it. Aww. Use bear charm. Oh, has permanently increased your speech skill by 10 points. I just... Oh, well, maybe it goes over. I don't know. Well, that's really nice. Gosh, I wish I came here sooner. What will you do now? I don't know. Maybe go play with Harold? I want to hear another one of his super swell stories. Aww, all right. May the great one bless you. I think I, uh, I think I like how that uh, worked Welcome out, outsider. honestly. Welcome to uh, let's Oasis. see, what about... Oh, yeah, I haven't talked to Pop. I'm very happy to see you again, savior of Oasis. All right, uh, you might have a gift for me? I somehow knew you'd be the one to make the changes that Leaf Mother Laurel desired. I helped to create the hoods that you see all tree minders wear. It's said that the cloth has a part of the Great One Spirit woven into the fibers. Kind of true. I present this to you as thanks. Wear this with pride and bring the message of renewal to all the corners of the wasteland. Oh, I get to wear- man, I'm getting all sorts of cool costumes now, right here, like, when I'm almost done with this. All right, what do you do now? Look to the future and seek the true meaning of what transpired here. If there's an answer out there somewhere, I'll find it. All right, what do you see in my future? I see a town in need of a savior and a woman in red. A woman in red? In a town and needs a savior woman in red? Please, I must rest a day's time before I can again see into the future. Ooh. I find the experience quite draining. I wonder what that means. I trust we'll meet again, outsider. That's cool. All right, I gotta try out my new outfit. Hold on here. Poplar's Hello. hood. Oh, that's May your spirit cute. rest in his branches. I want, I want the uh, robe now. It's good to see you again, outside. All right, have I talked to... I think I've talked to everyone now, right? Ah, uh, it's nice to have the pleasure of... Let's see. Okay, yeah, you might have a gift for me? I've never known someone to show as much caring as you did towards us. It seems to be rare to run into anyone like that anymore. That's partly why I never returned to my former life after I found myself in this place. Allow me to present a piece of my past to you, friend. Perhaps it will serve you better than it served me. Oh, outcast power armor. What will you do now? I'll remain here and help in any way that I can. I owe them my life, and I intend to repay that debt until my last breath. Wow, all right. May the sap of his wisdom sustain you. For a bunch of loonies, at least they're peaceful. And I got his... Eh, it's not really the best armor, but... It Gosh. looks pretty good. I don't know. This I don't think these go together. Hello again, outsider. Well, I really enjoyed the oasis. I think this has been one of my more favorite side areas. Very interesting quest, and man, Harold sure was you know interesting and had a really cool voice actor. Oh, what are you? It's oh, it's good to see you again, outsider. I, I need to talk to her yes, really quick outsider. too, I guess. Well, you do. Whatever the tree father or leaf mother would have me do, I'm still theirs to obey. Ah, uh, all right. May your spirit rest in his branches. All right. Well, the oasis was awesome. 
I feel pretty good about my choice. Harold seems to be pretty happy too, I think. And I don't know, I think this uh, one of the few quests that leaves me feeling good afterward instead of confused or like, oh gosh, I hope I made the right choice. I really like Fallout 3. This is a wonderful game. Alright guys, well thank you so much for watching me play today, and I'll see you with more Fallout 3 soon. Thanks again, and bye for now.